Here's a really important idea for our horses in developing our horsemanship. Our horses need to move off of our leg. For me, it's not an optional deal. This is a have to thing. If you only have your hands to guide your horse around, it's like trying to herd around a bunch of floaties in a motorboat out there on the lake. It's really tough. But if you had your hands and your reins and your legs as well, now you can begin to control different parts of your horse's body. And this all starts in a simple leg yield. And leg yielding is going to serve you well. If you want to open and close a gate or you want to pick up your soda can off the fence, if they'll just move sideways off of our leg. This is how we start it. Oftentimes put a horse right up against the fence because when we put a little leg pressure on them without them understanding what it means, their natural tendency is just to go forward. You know, they're forwardaholics. They just, whenever they're unsure, they go somewhere. And if I'm not up against the fence, then I'm going to have to pull on this horse and hold him back. So I'll put him up against the fence and my hands are there to keep my horse as straight as possible. If I'm going to leg yield this horse to the left, I'm going to move my left leg away from my horse rotate my hips over to the right. I don't want to be leaning at all in the direction in which I'm trying to go. That really puts a roadblock in my horse's way. And then I press with my right leg. And again, don't get too greedy. With these young horses, if I just get a little step, I take the pressure off and say, that's the answer right there. Then we can build on that and get more steps as time goes on. So my hands are keeping my horse as straight as possible. I'm pressing with my leg. With the young horses, as you play with this, they're probably going to be counterbent. So if I'm leg yielding to the left, they're probably looking a little bit to the right. And that's okay right now. As time goes on, we talk about more sophisticated advanced maneuvers. And side passing, I want to see more straightness or even see that inside eye. But right now, just a simple leg yield. Work it to the left, work it to the right. Don't ask for too much too soon. Once I think that there is a, a basic understanding there, then I can move away from the fence and balance my horse in my hands and ask my horse to take some lateral steps. But I want my leg to have meaning. If you can get your horse moving away without spurs, hey, that's fine. But if you find your horse very dull and unresponsive and not listening to your leg and you're just thumping and squeezing, then maybe we should consider spurs. Maybe I can ride with spurs? Yeah, as long as we're aware of what our legs are doing, that we can ride with an independent seat, that we don't inadvertently poke or jab our horse when we don't mean to be doing it, but it can be a very effective tool or an aid to communicate clearly to our horse. Now, as you watch Wiz move back and forth down the fence line, he's been there and done that. He's pretty comfortable with this. He can leg yield all day long, move all the way down to the other end of the arena if I would ask him to. But that's not where he started, and that's not where you're going to start if you're just introducing this concept to your horse. Watch these other horses that we're working. As we ask these horses to step over sideways, it's a little more crude. It's not as smooth. It's not as refined, and we're not going to ask for as many steps. Notice sometimes it's not always balanced. The horse is leading with their front end, the shoulders kind of getting ahead of the hip. And that's all to be expected early on. But just think about what your end game is and where you're headed. We're looking for more straightness, more symmetry from the front end to the hind end, where that horse is balanced and stepping equally in his front end and his hind end. But as you can see with these young horses and these remedial horses, it, it doesn't happen all at once. All of these exercises that we do really boil down to basic principles. If you think about this, these principles are the answer to every training question that you have, whether it's leg yielding or picking up the correct lead or backing up or whatever it is. We make the right thing easy and the wrong thing difficult. We're firm as necessary, yet gentle as possible, and we reward the slightest try. If you will apply those things every time, then you just fill in the blanks to what's going on. So if I'm leg yielding my horse down the fence, I'll pick up on those reins, I'll begin to press, I'll press firmer and firmer if I need to, I'll be as firm as necessary, but I'm always trying to be as gentle as possible. And when that horse takes a step, even somewhat in the direction that I'm thinking about, there, I make that very easy for my showman. There's an open door for you. I reward that slightest try. When I speak of reward, it's not like I would give you a reward. If you did good, I'd give you a ribbon or a silver buckle or something like that. But a horse's reward, he doesn't appreciate those things. What he appreciates is release, is that rest, is the pressure being taken off. That is his reward. You know what your horse ultimately wants to be? Does he want to be a world champion? Does he want to have, you know, 10 saddles in the trophy room that he's won? He doesn't care about those things. He just wants to be comfortable. 
And so if we're thinking through the process and helping our horse, we have the ability to put them in a little bit of a bind to take their comfort away and then show them, hey, step through here and there, you're back in your comfort zone. I like what the old horseman told me one time. He said, put them in a bind, but then show them a way out of that bind. A lot of folks are only good at half of that equation, huh? They can put them in a bind, but they never show them a way out. We've got to reward those tries, and we've got to make them feel like a winner. Once they can feel comfortable again, they'll start going there quicker and quicker, and that's how those horses get responsive. As my horse gains more maturity and more understanding, I can ask for more. But if I ask for that big picture stuff early on, my horse is going to say, I don't know what to do. I move left, right, forwards, backwards, up and down. I don't find any release anywhere. I'm just going to quit. I'm just going to flip over backwards. I'm just, I don't know what I'm going to do. And they get frustrated, and they do. They mentally shut down. So you're the coach, you're the leader, you've got a tremendous responsibility not to push that horse to the point of frustration and, and not having any understanding, but reward those slightest tries and you'll find that you'll get to where you wanna go a lot faster than if you try to rush those early stages. This leg yielding for me is not an option. You say, well, I don't ride performance horses, I don't ride show horses, I just ride on the trail. I would not wanna ride a trail horse that did not move off my leg. Maybe you're on a pretty hairy trail and it's a big drop off there. Horse is getting close to the edge. Wouldn't it be nice just to be able to push him over towards the bank a little bit more? Simple little things like that. We need this maneuverability in our horses. And so every horse that comes in training with me is going to go home with that checked off the list. He's going to move off my leg. And so work on that and develop and get it better. And you'll be so much more happy with how your horse is responding. Music